てないため絶対サービスキープしようこっちかフォロースルーに祝って絶望へのプレリュードを聞けそしてハート出すわけわかんはい、みなさん、カーラーです。And welcome back to Prince of Tender 2005 Crystal Drive. We're in the quarterfinals. I was going to say semifinals. Quarterfinals of the R1 Trial Singles Tournament. We're on our quest to get all of the Hyote characters. This time around, we're going to try and get Kabaji. Even though we've already faced him off in the previous round.、Um, but we're going to face off this. Girl, who I think is called like Sakura or something like that, but she's just the, I guess, love interest for Ryoma. She really does not matter, and she has, I think, the worst stats in the entire game, where literally everything is as low as possible. <laughs> and that's kind of like a constant in all of the games, I think. Because there's, I've, I've played one other、uh, Prince of Tennis game, and it's on, it's on the PS2. Uh, they've, uh, this Crystal Drive sort of series,、um, they've reused the engine a couple of times in the GBA, and then I think they just remade it for the DS. But、um, whenever I try to play GBA games, it just doesn't work for me.、Um, but at this point, it kind of doesn't matter. It's kind of a situation with like Jump、um, Ultimate Stars and Jump Superstars, where Superstars. Is the prequel, but Ultimate Stars kind of has everything it has and more, so I kind of just completely skip that. I think there's just maybe like one or two characters、um, that you can only find in, like playable characters that you can play in the original one that were cut in Ultimate for some reason, and also、um, maybe Worlds、um, as well. But in any case, in the PS2 game, This girl is actually there, and she's actually level F for all her stats. They have a different sort of stat thing where they have like a stat pentagram、um, kind of deal, and every single one of her stats is F. Maybe it's not a pentagram, but I just remember they had numbered stats, <laughs> and all of them were F. But it was a very interesting game because you like. It was, it was in Japanese, right? Like, this is in Japanese also, but.、Um, It's a little easier to like get through, but um, that game was completely in Japanese, so I really didn't know what to do aside from like some um, uh, get you know, game FAQs article. I figured I should probably shouldn't say the other word because <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't say that as much. I, I had like a sweet home video where I said that a bunch of times, but there was. Just a guide that I had to follow vaguely. And it's not like in this game where I can, like, at any point just press start or I can be in, like, a menu kind of deal.、Um, it was just a little harder because there were, like, cutscenes. <laughs> or not cutscenes. It was, it was really weird to, to explain. I really want to play it on the channel someday. But it was just basically every. Every playthrough was kind of the same thing where, like, you would just pick any character you want, you would play certain. Like story events kind of deal.、Uh, sometimes it would be different. I think sometimes you would go bowling or like some shit. And、uh, they would affect your like stats, I think. But it's, on, it's all in Japanese. So I couldn't like respond to any of the like the dialogue options or anything like that. Whereas like this game doesn't really have any of that. The most it has is like the、uh, food mechanic. And that's really about it. So the cool thing about that game though was. You could like train one character to learn any other one character's like special move, which is kind of interesting. So you can get like, I don't know, um, Atobe with the Serosiki drop shot that、uh, Tesca does. Crazy stuff like that. It was pretty interesting. Um, And you can do a couple of other little things, but I really, I'm, I'm completely blanking out because it's been, I think, like 10 years <laughs> since I've played that game. I think I actually, I think I played this at first,、uh, Crystal Drive 2005. And then somewhere down the line, I found that game.、Um, and I started playing that like two years later or something after a little bit. And then I went back to this because my PS2 burnt out. But. 
that was a wild experience. <laughs> and I was always like, oh man, I, I want to do a playthrough of that on the channel someday just because I've spent so much time on Prince of Tenants, but... I don't know if I'll even be able to find what game it was, um, but yeah, that, that'll definitely be a treat. But yeah, it just remembered, it just reminded me because she's in the game and I just remember all her stats being F. And then I know in this game they're all nothing. I'm gonna have to like challenge myself eventually. Yeah, the only thing she has is high praise, recovery, and uh, duration for her awakening, I think is what that last stat is. Though she actually has solid stats in. And I think her special is just a cord ball automatically. But I'm going to have to like eventually challenge myself where like I have to play a game with her or something. But, um, we'll see when we get to that. Ooh, she's actually going to, so I gotta come up here. Hopefully I can hit it over. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I can do that for the 100 episode, because right now I kind of screwed myself. Because um, the 100 episode was going to, to be a, I think it was a mix match tournament. And it's going to feel a little underwhelming just because, like, um, the character you get for it is cool and whatnot, but I don't know if it would have been worth the 100 episode, but I can't do that until I unlock Atobe, who I feel like would have been a little bit more worthy of the 100 episode, so I got put in a weird, awkward spot. And then since I did the double tournament off-screen, I was originally going to do it on-screen, I'm missing one tournament, which I now have to find a way to do do in uh, this fifth season that's all featuring Kyoto. I have to throw in a random tournament in there just for the sake of time. Um, and that's going to be the 100th episode, or it's going to encapsulate the 100th episode. Uh, but we'll see. What I do about that, so I'll have to take a look at the guide and uh, see what tournaments I have and whatnot. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll do what I just did. Because uh, I think I have her unlocked? Oh man, I'm gonna have to double check on that. Um, if anything, I guess I can unlock her off screen and then use her in a game. It was between that or there's this character that I think I used once in the mix match tournament. He's like, I think, like an, a manga only character. But his like special ability is that he has all middle stats. Uh, I think everything is like from one to five in terms of stats. One being amazing, um, sorry, one being the worst, five being the best. So he has like threes for everything, but he has like three abilities uh, that he can use, or I should say he has one ability <laughs> that he can use three times, uh, one for like each button. And basically what it does is that it makes it so that his stats automatically go to five, every single one of them. However, if he so much as loses any single point, all his stats immediately drop down to one. <laughs> uh, so it is just this crazy high risk, high reward kind of situation. I keep thinking he has a super special. Um, and yeah, you can do that three different times. Um, and then he has, I think, the one move where he can like... Because uh, his thing is like he drinks some sort of concoction and then that's what boosts all his stats. But he has another one. Well, you can try to do it, and it, I think he can boost the max twice. And he has another one where you can try and just boost one of your random stats. Uh, one of your stats randomly to the max. Very interesting character. So I was thinking of doing a playthrough with him. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, in any case, um, pretty easy. Fucking bagel, because, you know, I'm the best. Uh, unless I don't get racket killed. Take care of yourself.